Now, the eye of a storm is a deceptively calm point in the centre of a hurricane. It is perhaps a good analogy for Ukraine this week. A ceasefire on its eastern borders barely holding, its economy racked by a collapsing currency and soaring interest rates. And amidst all of this, it is trying to reform its economy. It's changing its tax and its energy laws. It's issuing a budget designed to win the approval and $17.5 billion in funds from the IMF. Our reporter Susanna Street has spoke to Ukraine's agriculture minister about what the conditions are like for businesses now in the country. We consider we lost around 20% of our economy in Donetsk, Lugansk and Crimea. In agribusiness we lost one and a half million tons of grain and corn production also in these regions. But if you see the total picture, uh, the whole infrastructure with the railways, with the transport, with the roads, it's secure, it's safe, it's functioning for agribusiness. All the pots are functioning in Odessa, Nikolaev in the south, in, in Ukraine. And uh, we don't have sets, any problems within, within the territory with that. And what more can your government do to help those farmers and those businesses that are really feeling the effects? First of all, we're receiving support from other regions. Uh, we're also transferring, let's say, goods. We're also tra transferring some in inputs. At a uh, macro level, the government has now gave, gave extra uh, subsidies to compensate interest rate uh, for the farmers. And uh, some of the subsidies will go to Donetsk and Lugansk region as well. We also now have some subsidies for cattle farms, which is not significant, but at least we also have it. Last week, you know that the interest rate has increased nearly twice. And this week it's more or less stabilized because last week we also had some panic with the, uh, with the, with the products in the supermarkets. When after rising the interest rate, people became to, become sh to shop a lot and uh, the shelves were empty. It was uh, one of the issues. But I have enough products in the country uh, and Ukraine continued to be the food basket of the world. You know that half of the production we export, and last year we had record figures for production at 63.8 million tons of grain. And uh, it's agribusiness, it's the, the only sector which is growing comparing to previous year. You're sending a delegation to China to try and export um, the image of the breadbasket of the world to China as well. Do you believe that China is your future? We see not only China as a future, we see so many markets as a future. Ukraine and made in Ukraine for products, uh, becoming very important as a food basket and as a bread basket. We have number one position for sunflower seeds and for sunflower oil. We have number four position for wheat and uh, grain and uh, corn already. And we also see opportunity, possibility to increase our production at minimum by uh, one sort in, in coming three years and double exports in coming three years. Alexi